The court took up a challenge to Auer in its 2019 decision in the case of Kaiser versus Wilkie. Although a plurality of the court would have given Auer a more ringing endorsement, the majority had to rest its decision on the ground that stare decisis favored keeping the doctrine on. Justice Roberts' concurring opinion emphasized the limitations of Auer enumerated in Justice Kagan's opinion. The underlying regulation must be genuinely ambiguous, the agency's interpretation must be reasonable, and must reflect its authoritative, expert base and fair and considered judgment, and the agency must take account of reliance interests and avoid unfair surprise. Justice Kagan's opinion for the court did clarify at least one conception about our. Some courts have thought, perhaps because of Seminole Rock's plainly erroneous formulation, that agency constructions of rules receive greater deference than agency constructions of statutes. But that is not so. Under our, as under Chevron, the agency's reading must fall within the bounds of reasonable interpretation. And let there be no mistake, that is a requirement an agency can fail. I know I don't want to make a mistake, Recall this example from the previous video. I posed what I thought was the hour question. Would it be plainly erroneous for the agency to interpret this to mean 250 pounds? The Kaiser Court now tells us, don't be fooled by the plainly erroneous language. An unreasonable interpretation does not survive what it's tempting now to call our step two. The dissent was not satisfied with the majority's weakening of our. Justice Gorsuch wrote, today's decision is more a stay of execution than a pardon. The court cannot muster even five votes to say that our is lawful or wise. Instead, a majority retains our only because of stare decisis.